Hey guys, CyberCon11 here, and welcome back to another episode of Wizard101, and this is episode 8, and woo, that looks weird. Kind of looks like a bad Photoshop, but, you know, actually moving. But when we left off, we had to defeat these freaks, and we had to take care of Scarlet Screamers, which, as I mentioned, I don't think I'm done with a Scarlet Screamer, am I? No, but I still have to go kill a Scarlet, some more Scarlet Screamers, and pretty much... We did stuff last episode, we took a dueling tutorial, and we've been, like I said earlier, fighting these ugly guys, we've been collecting barrels, and now we have to fight Scarlet Screamers to take their cloth. Totally fun! So, we should throw in the snake, because Myth has a weakness of electricity! Yeah. And this will put her out of her misery. Oh, and I guess you're trying to do the same, huh? Ugh. And I used that last episode, too. <laughs> and I don't think that spell's gonna kill her off. I had to say put her out of her misery, and then what did she do? Decide to heal herself. And she has resistance to that, and that was a smart idea. Okay, 49 attack damage. I think this will kill her. Please don't... Okay, she doesn't have enough power to heal herself. So if this fizzles, she has a chance of healing herself again. Yep, she's dead. That scream always got me uncomfortable. And, wait, where's some more healing? Oh, there we go. There we go, yo. Okay, Scarlet. Okay, oh, actually, oh. Wait, I was on the sidewalk and she still took me. Come on, same tactic. Come on, same tactics. Sorry, I was reading a text. Um, 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 uh, 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 this. <laughs> oh, sweet, I got a new ring. I can't use it. Might as well sell it. Yeah, and pretty much, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. Shout out to my friend Beast Mode Gamer. Uh, I think it was six four seven, uh, because his birthday is coming up this Monday. And I'm getting another text, which I hope it's not an extension to the. It was a long text because like we're having a little celebration for him for his birthday later today, which this is all being pre-recorded. So by the time you're seeing this, I've already been there, and it was yesterday. But he's my good friend of mine. We've been friends since we were in kindergarten. So pretty much, we've we've been friends for I think like 11 years now. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now are you are you ready? I don't believe it. These Lumina crystals you brought me have been drained of magic. I'll bet those undead have a way of stealing the power from them. Most excellent. These will do just fine. You'd better take this crystal back to Duncan. I'm sure he'll want to see this. Level up. Oh, and what does my teacher want after this? Now I need you to gather some straw. Oh, no. I think I saw some field guards hiding out in the haunted cave. Go and collect some straw from them. I accept, and what do you want? Hello again. I need your assistance for a moment. Could you come see me, please? Done and done. I actually forgot, how long was I recording this so far? Okay. Young wizard, I can't wait to tell you about my favorite pastime, fishing. Okay, that's actually one of the new features of Wizard 101. Come find me by the water in the commons. Okay. And what do you want? Greetings, oh wonderful wizard. Our mutual friend, Headmaster Ambrose, would have words with you if you have a moment to spare. Man, we're actually getting pretty good today, huh? 
So let's go to my school. Oh, come on, let me take some of that blue stuff. Yeah. Which I think I'm getting a new spell. Well, I'm so glad you want to learn ice magic. To start, you will need a blessing from the giants. Fill this vial with the unnaturally pure water from the pond in the commons, and then take it to the ice tree outside. I'll accept. Which I actually do not know what spell we happen to be working on today. And I'm already level 8. I've been leveling up quicker than I've been expecting to, which now that I mention it, I've been playing this game since I was 9, and I'm 15. So... Pretty much, I'm my original wizard is like over, like, isn't this the correct water? You fill the flask with pure water from the pond. And I've been playing this for a while, and I'm so used to just leveling up very slowly. And uh, wait, what happens now? Okay, I gotta talk to Kelvin. I actually thought it said Kevin, but there was an L in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's so hard. I want to read my text, but I'm not sure if it's something I should mention out loud to the audience, or if it's just something that my friend Beast Mode Gamer was doing, which his name is Michael. He used to be little MC47. If you guys seen my older videos. So, you seek the blessing of the giants. Let me see this vial of water. You hold up the flask of pure water. Kelvin freezes the water into a crystalline shard of ice. There. This is a flawless ice shard. As hard as a diamond, and as cold as the north wind. Kelvin teaches you the words of power. Say these words as you hurl your offering from Elix Edge, the cliff in the shopping district. Alright. We gotta go to the cliff of the shopping district. I wonder if I also get a new training point. Like... Didn't, didn't I, don't I also get a training point now? No, I don't. But I think sometimes when you get to the level to get a new card that you can't get from your teacher, I think that lets you get a training point. I'm actually not sure. And uh, if you heard that, I cracked my fangle. My fangles. I crack my fangles frequently. Oh yeah, and there's Pato Gold because uh, everybody knows St. Paddy's Day. Even though I'm not I'm ninety five percent Irish. You shout the words of power, Klatu, Barata, Niktu. You toss the shard of ice over the edge into the open sky. You summon a master of frost. Oh. Who dares disturb my rest? Aha! A young wizard seeking the secrets of ice. I sense great power in you. Know ye this. We are the giants, kings of the sky. We accept your offering. You may call upon our servants, young thaumaturge. Study our magic well. A great evil is rising, and you may need our magic to stop it. Wow. So now I go back to my teacher? Yep, I do. I just realized pretty soon I could start to get my own house. And we have a lot to do in this episode, which I might have to pre-record another one to keep track of those other two requests for doing fishing and pet training. Which I mentioned I thought to be level 10 to be pet training, but no, I'm level 8. Exceptional work, young wizard! You may now call upon the Servants of Ice for your magic. Here, you deserve the Ice Trap spell. Come back later when you've learned enough to master more. Oh, sweet. It'll increase my attack damage. What's this? Uh, ice banner. Must must well might as well equip it. Might as well equip it. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing. Um, I don't think we're gonna need the fire cats anymore. 
M might as well, not the ice beetles. So we'll try to do the stun. Uh, yeah, that's I think the best we could do. And then they'll just equip all my spells. All right. So, um, let's try to do the pet thing because that's a, that's a little less strategic. But after that, I think next episode we can do the fishing. Which actually, let me see—is there even a symbol on that guy? Oh, okay, a little off-season Christmas sleigh. I see. Yep. Okay, I guess I can do fishing. Which I'll, I'll have to put in lots of money for that. Yeah, wait, why didn't, why did I get a thing for Pet Pavilion if I don't have the correct level? You know what, we'll save fishing for the next episode, but, uh, let's go back to Triton Avenue. So what did I have to do again? Oh, okay, I gotta talk to that person in Old E-Town. Come on, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, go, go. I think I'm not really gonna spend any money with this guy because I already have a subscription so I could go to any town I want. Oh, and I guess we could go to Grizzleheim, too. We have a lot to do now. Hey, you're like the same old lady. Oh, wait. Forgot. That's the wrong one. <laughs> it's kind of funny that there's a black one down there, but yeah, there's a white one up here that's just totally the same, but with just different colors all around. You want to ask me about Malastare's wife, Sylvia? Oh my, yes. I knew her very well. She taught the life magic class before Mulinda Wu. I sure miss her. What happened to her was such a shame, poor dear. Madame Crindle becomes forlorn as she relives the sad memories. Say, there is something you can do for me, child. Would you go find the scrapbook Sylvia and I made together? It would mean a lot to me to have it back. I'm not sure how, but Sergeant Skull Splitter has it. Uh, could you go to his tower on Triton Avenue and get it back for me? And I think he's a difficult boss at my level. I'm not sure. Whoa! That is just total beast right there. I'm sorry, I might as well not waste the episode of me in shock, but let's go to this guy. I am Balder Goldpaws, a trader from far off Grizzleheim, and I've just discovered this world. I have sailed across the great sea of skies, establishing new ports to trade my wares in. I would like to establish trade relations with the merchants here, if they be friendly. Can you help me? Yes, I can. If Prospector Zeke is here, go speak to him. Then speak to your treasure card dealer and anyone who sells furniture. If you can do that for me, I will be thankful. Let us go. So first we gotta go to the Professor of the Zeke. Might as well- Oh hey look, another uh, thing's going on there that I won't be able to access. Um, wait, am I talking to the wrong person? Yes, I am. I want Zeke. Hey there, young wizard. How's it going for you so far? Good. You explain that Balder Goldpaws asked you to help set up trade relations between Grizzleheim and Wizard City. That's great. Old Zeke's always happy to do business with the bears. Tell Balder I'll trade with him. Dog bears. 
I gotta talk to the Liborian. Hello, Liborian. Hello there, young student. Welcome to the library. Can I help you find any book or card in particular? You tell Mr. Argleston about the trade agreement, Balder. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I would... You tell Mr. Argleston about the trade agreement Balder is trying to set up. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I would be happy to trade treasure cards with Grizzleheim. I wonder if we can set up a library exchange program. All right, um... Where's that? Where should it? Okay, that's good. I'm just so glad I made an X as a shortcut. Really happy. It's so crazy, too, that there's so much activity going on these days. With, with the whole game and everything. And I mainly just did this series, too, just because if I didn't have anything to upload or do, then hey, I could make always a, a, wizard's, a Wizard 101 episode. Actually, you know what? While we're here, I want to see what are some of the St. Patrick things that they're selling. Besides, I am 95% Irish. So we got the pot of gold one. We also have the clover one. We have the gold string tarp. We even have... Well, actually, that's, that looks really nice. And let's see, let's see the ones I can access. Okay. All right. Okay. Is this like repeating? This is kind of okay. Not, some of them are getting different. Let's go all the way at the end. Ninety-five. They literally go up to ep like not episode level ninety-five. Let's see the pets. Oh, we got the lucky the leprechaun. That'd be kind of nice though if he came with a spell. But then that's when I would consider buying it. Oh wait, what are you? I don't remember you. I guess now you could build spots of a house. All right. Welcome to my shop, young wizard. Can I interest you in some furniture for your dorm room? You tell Mr. Quickhammer about the flying boat with the trader from Grizzleheim. That's great. I offer a selection of furnishings from across the spiral. Adding imports from Grizzleheim will certainly be good for my business. Now what else do we got? Okay, so we could just go back to Oldie Town. Shortcut. Hashtag shortcut. Did you get agreement from the three merchants? Yes, I did. Good! You have brought two worlds closer together. You have my thanks. And you have my, you're welcome. I would like to reward you for your help getting your merchants to agree to trade with my world. Would you like to take a quick trip with me to visit Grizzleheim, my home? It will not take long now that I know the way. You can greet some tradesmen from Grizzleheim and see if they will trade with Wizard City. In Grizzleheim, speak to Thrain Stormfriend, Vider Silverthread, and Dane Goldright. Let them know I sent you with word of new trade partners. And also, before I go, I was going to end the episode here, but let's, uh, let's go to Grizzleheim. All right. They still keep the Nick Jonas right here. Wait, did he, will he still talk to me? Like, here's one of the most random things in the game. Hey, gang. Thanks for checking out my music. And I hope you enjoy the new Winter Tusk area of Wizard 101. See you in the game. Why do they have to have Nick Jonas... And especially, too, he said, see you in the game, so he must be in Winter Tusk. Which I'm not even gonna pr pretty much be there in a few years. Maybe even longer. I might be a college graduate by the time I'll make it there. You look like you could use a new rune-carved ring. I have just the one in stock. Before he tries to sell you something, you explain about the trade agreement. That sounds like a great idea. Sign me up. 
You should head back to tell Balder that we're willing to trade. All right. Hello. You there? Can I interest you in a new robe? This is a cold land, and you should try to stay warm. What size are you? You explain that you're not robe shopping. You're here to set up trade with Wizard City. Hmm. Trade with Wizard City? I can certainly do that. <laughs> I will have to get some smaller sizes in stock, though. <laughs> and lastly, you. Welcome, young outsider. Where are you from, and what can I do for you? You explain that you're from Wizard City, and that you're here to set up trade with Grizzleheim. Sounds good to me. I'll trade with anyone with gold in their pocket. Alright, and I guess that was it. Bye, Nick Jonas, even though you're not related to the game whatsoever, but you're still here anyway. They are in agreement, then. Good news! We have done well this day. Ready yourself. I will take you home now. It was a pleasure working together. I wish you well in your future journeys. You may be unable to return to Grizzleheim right away, but when you do return, your visit will be marked by kind words and open hearts. You must be at least 20th level to return to Grizzleheim. And I guess that was it, you guys. I'm CyberCon11, and I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Wizard101. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram, and also subscribe for more content so you can be up up updated for every time I upload a new video, such as this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.